Sometimes it's essential to answer ludicrous questions for fun. Would a bigger aircraft than the Airbus A380 work in the aviation industry? Today we break down this more light-hearted question. Welcome back to Globetrotting. Do subscribe if you're new. I promise we're usually more serious. Now, the Airbus A380 is the world's largest passenger plane. The Boeing 747 is the queen of the skies. There's just something about larger aircraft that strikes an accord with you, whether you're a full-blown aviation enthusiast or someone just at the airport readying to board your flight. But would larger aircraft than this work? Hypothetically, yes. But honestly, this is the most no yes you've probably ever heard. And that's truly as positive as it's going to go, because from here, it's all downhill if you want these larger aircraft. While there's the potential to build larger planes, having them work in the industry is another question. There are many, and I mean many, complications over building larger aircraft. This video could run for hours, so instead, let us focus on some of the most significant points. Firstly, airlines and what they seek. Very few airlines are looking for large aircraft, like the Airbus A380. Only you could argue that Emirates would probably be actively interested in another A380 type plane. However, it would have to be efficient and would 100% not likely be larger. Other than the Dubai-based carrier, trends have changed. The day of the jumbo has sadly disappeared and airlines worldwide seek more efficient twin-engined aircraft that are spread across one deck instead of two. That's where your A350s, 777s, 787s, the upcoming 777X and such have seen such significant success. They're favourable aircraft and can complete a wide range of missions, whether long-haul flights from Perth to London or on high-demand and high-capacity services with variants that hold more passengers, say the A350-1000 or the 787-10. The A380 is perfect for the hub-and-spoke model. However, this is a model that many airlines have moved away from of late. So building larger aircraft wouldn't be ideal, but very simply, the demand wouldn't be there, and the costs incurred for the said aircraft manufacturer, let's say hypothetically Boeing, to build the said airplane would be incredibly high. At the same time, while inspiration could definitely be used when building the plane, it would be a clean sheet design, and for an extensive program, the human resources that would need to be put behind it to design, build and certify the plane would be phenomenal. Also, in every way possible, it would not be worth it, because the demand for such a plane would not be there. The company would be making losses upon losses. Now, airports. It may be an area that you wouldn't have initially thought about, but it is crucial as well when discussing larger aircraft. Before I get onto the even bigger plane and the implications it could have on your local airport, I wanted to move to the 777X, Boeing's up-and-coming widebody set to replace the existing 777 families. This is a wide aircraft. Of course, it's a wide body. However, one of the design issues was that its wingspan was so vast that it wouldn't fit into gates. Boeing wanted to ensure that the aircraft could, but they wouldn't lose any of the efficiency they were planning while the plane was in the air. That's where the folding wingtips come into play. Boeing implemented wingtips that fold upwards while on the ground and downwards while in the air, so the 777X can still slot into gates at airports, taxi to the runway, and much more. Now though, if we're building an even larger plane, the likelihood of it fitting not just into gates, but also on taxiways and much more is incredibly low, and the likelihood of airports forging up millions upon millions to make those alterations for an aircraft type that remember, has no demand, is also impossible. Airports already invested millions when the A380 arrived, widening taxiways and gates to accommodate its sheer size. Further widening for most airports would be impossible, as the infrastructure has been in place for decades upon decades, and making the necessary changes just wouldn't be possible with the space they have. However, there's also the boarding problem. If we're extending the plane up, well, there are difficulties getting the jet bridges to the aircraft, at different heights. We do see it work for the A380, but it wouldn't work for, say, a three or four deck or five deck plane, unless assuming everyone will be wanting to take the stairs up multiple decks with their bags. Safety is another reason why larger aircraft probably wouldn't be ideal. Yes, you could theoretically build such a plane if you really wanted to. However, things like generating thrust, powering the aircraft, weight distribution, an emergency exit, windows, and so much more are generally so important. 
The stress on the fuselage, wings, and much more will also be worth considering. There's an endless list of safety concerns that would come from building such a plane. With today's technology, it would be a nightmare waiting to happen. And also, you'd need engines upon engines to power such a plane. And then you can imagine what the fuel burn is like on each of these aircraft. And I'll give you a hint, it's far from favourable, that's for sure. Ultimately, that leads to the efficiency of the engines powering the aircraft. As I mentioned, you need to generate enough thrust, but with engines in this day and age, that wouldn't be entirely possible on such a big plane. So the solution could be, add more engines. Well, this wouldn't really work, because the stress on the wing would then have to be enormous, and you'd need to buff up said wing to make it possible, which then throws out the efficiency of the plane altogether. On top of that, you have balancing issues. We've all seen concepts of those super large aircraft, and trust me, they look incredible, hilarious, but also fascinating, and silly at the same time. I think it all brings out the inner kid in all of us. And maybe for a split second, we've thought how amazing it would be to see that said concept fly. However, the reality is, there's no world where aircraft like this currently work. For now at least though, we can not imagine what it'd be like to see these mega planes take into the skies, because in our imagination, it's probably as far as these multi-deck planes will ever go. Thank you very much for watching this video on globetrotting. If you have any thoughts, please drop them below in the comments. Do take care, do be safe, and I'll see you next time.